Hello, my name is Guo Liang. I'm currently a PhD student at the University of Cambridge. Today I'm going to present our work, SIP, Auto-Tuning GPU Native Schedules While Stochastic Instruction Perturbation. The emergent workload of large language model is remarked by their substantial computational demands due to the chaining of billions of parameters on a vast amount of data. As a result, ML Partitioner have recognized these intensive computational requirements of LLMs, and there's a shift toward designing specialized CUDA kernel tailored for LLM training and inference, instead of relying on compiler-generated ones, so that they can maximize the utilization of hardware resources as much as possible. For example, flash attention is a dedicated CUDA kernel to perform self-attention computation on NVIDIA GPUs. In this work, we investigate the opportunity to optimize this specialized CUDA kernel at the assembly level so that we can further accelerate the kernel throughput. These slides introduce the CUDA compilation pipeline. It consists of four stages. C++ CUDA is the most common programming interface, where CUDA code is written as a C++ function. This is where most people write specialized CUDA kernels. Then the CUDA code get compiled to PTX, which is an intermediate assembly and is GPU architecture independent. It is also possible to directly program in PTX and embed in C++ CUDA code. Next, the PTX get compiled to SAS, which is native to the GPU architecture. Note that each GPU generation has a different SAS instruction set. This is also where SIP perform optimization, because GPU executes the static schedule of SAS. Finally, the SAS get assembled to Kubin, which is an executable binary that directly run on GPUs. The key to GPU assembly optimization is latency hiding. Latency hiding aims to keep both the memory units and the compute units busy so that there's no stall during the execution pipeline. While GPU itself has some mechanism to hide latency, for example, the warp scheduler can switch the current executing warp when there is a stall. However, prior work shows that by manually reordering some memory instructions and compute instructions, the memory I.O. and computation can be better overlapped, thus improving the overall throughput. Also note that GPU executes instructions according to their static schedules. This means the compiler-generated instruction schedule is the actual execution sequences, and there's no out-of-order execution. Thus. The manual schedule is the actual sequences issued to the hardware. As a result, try and error is employed by ML practitioner to find the optimal sequences as shown by prior work. We observe that large amounts of time and effort are needed to optimize a specific CUDA kernel's instruction schedules. The limitations of try and error is that manual scheduling is a time-consuming and error-prone process, even if in-depth CUDA expertise. This is because we have to identify the critical instructions from thousands of lines of instructions and find the optimizable pattern. Moreover, if there's a change of the data input, such as the tensor shape, or the kernel parameter, such as tile size, the manual scheduling has to be redone. Also, it cannot keep up with the development of newer operators. We aim to bridge this gap by an automatic optimization approach. To accomplish automatic optimization, we define a search space of possible instruction schedules and implement a stochastic search algorithms to find the optimized schedules. These slides present the overall design of SIP. Conceptually, a search engine takes as input a kubin compiled from a CUDA kernel 
and then it generates mutant to the GPU according to its policy within the search space. Then the mutant got measured on the GPU and returns its runtime. If the runtime has improvement, it's more likely to get accepted and the search engine proceed into the next iteration. This runs in a loop until search budget is exhausted. The optimized kubin is output. Now we give detailed definition of the search space and mutation policy. The full search space is the full permutation of a CUDA kernel's instruction, which is computationally intractable. We therefore prune the search space by limiting our choices and only consider global memory read and write instruction, such as LDG and STG, which stand for global memory reads and writes respectively. This is because prior works suggest that global memory read and write are the most critical memory operation to perform latency hiding. Within the search space, the mutation policy is randomly choosing one instruction and randomly move it up by one instruction or moving it down. This corresponds to an expert performing reordering of the instruction schedule. After a mutation, the mutated SAS assembly is assembled and executes on the GPU, which returns the runtime as the feedback signal. We use simulated anilium to form the control loop, which iteratively improve the kernel throughput until a predefined search budget is exhausted. Simulated anilium is a meta-heuristic stochastic optimization method to explore a discrete search space. It simulates a physical process and intuitively it will converge to schedules that have a lower runtime. As shown in the screen, T defines a search loop and every iteration a new schedule is generated, measured, and accepted with some certain probability. Then, it moves into the next iteration. For implementation, we choose to integrate with OpenAI Triton. Triton is an MLIR-based compiler to write CUDA kernel in Python syntax, and then just in time compile to Kubin. Since PyTorch 2, it is a default backend for code generation, meaning PyTorch code will be eventually compiled through Triton to device code to invoke SIP's optimization on top of Triton. There's only one line of change as shown in the screen. The workflow of SIP is searched and then look up. This means user perform offline search before deploying the kernels and then store the um, optimized kernel in the lookup table. At deploy time, the optimized kernel is retrieved and deployed. This is because stochastic search poses a trade-off between search budget and the optimized performance. And with more budget, the search space is better explored and it's more likely to find a better kernel. As the formal semantics of SAS is closed source, we have to rely on probabilistic testing as an approximation to measure the transformation correctness. User must give a compiler hint, which indicates the index of the output buffer. SIP then intercepts this hint and generate reference output and input upfront. The mutated SARS will be tested with the reference input and output and will be rejected if there's a mismatch. For evaluation, we select two representative CUDA kernels, fuse attention or flash attention, and fuse gem leaky value. We evaluate on a A100 GPU and use NSI compute to profile the CUDA kernels. First, we show the kernel throughput. On the left, we show the throughput of fuse attention. And on the right, it is the throughput of gem leaky value. In both cases, SIP discovers optimized kernel with a lower runtime. In the case of fuse attention, it is 6.2% lower. In the case of fuse gem leaky value, it is 12% lower. The optimization mostly comes from L2 cache throughput because L1 cache 
has negligible differences in our profiling results. This is consistent with our setting because we mostly reorder global memory read and write operation and it is associated with L2 cache. Next, we evaluate the relationship of detection of false positive kernel versus the number of text samples. Originally, we have 42 found Kubin because we run 42 rounds of search. And as we test those with 100 samples, two false positive kernels are detected. As we increase the number of test samples up to 5,000, one more false positive kernel are detected. After that, the number of kernels that successfully pass all tests remain constant as we increase the test samples number. For kernels that presented in the previous line, we test for 10 million test samples and find no problem. Testing 10 million samples take approximately 10 hours and it can be fully paralyzed with more GPUs. In the future work, we aim to leverage static analysis to analyze the register dependencies. In this way, we don't have to perform probabilistic testing because we can guarantee the register dependency during optimization. Finally, we conduct a case study on the optimized fuse attention kernel. Note that with different GPU architecture, there may be different results. As shown by the figure on the left, the instruction compiled by Chaitun, interleave memory operation LDGSTS and compute operation IMAP, which aims to automatically overlap memory and compute instruction. On the contrary, the image on the right shows that the optimized schedule from SIP, where we can see that the IMAP is interleaved by LDG SDS by two instructions and achieve better performance. Unfortunately, due to the nature of stochastic optimization, these kinds of reordering is scattered across the assembly file. In future work, we aim to study which optimization pattern is the most important discovered by SIP. In summary, SIP is an automatic optimizer to discover better instruction schedules. And because it works at a lower level, it can further accelerate specialized CUDA kernel. In the future, we want to investigate to apply static analysis to guarantee the end-to-end -end equivalency instead of relying on probabilistic testing. Also, we may look into reinforcement learning as a better search algorithm. If you have any question, feel free to send me an email. Thank you.